Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's so like amazing? Someone? Like I said, it is really good. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Quarren, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. <laughs> okay, London Titon. I love you. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. I don't know. <sighs> Guarded. Makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. The spooky house? The spooky Hackett house? Dude! What? <laughs> Ryan, we're all on the same side. We're all fighting for the same team, man. Have you thought about not killing him? Compassionate. Maybe there is another way. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer one of the spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's <sighs> just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. He's got a point, Ryan. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. Friendly, Chris has nothing to do with this. No way you're going alone. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Do whatever you want. Shut up. <laughs> you saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Mm-hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole. Where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. She's got a point. We're safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Yep. Back at Woods, Laura. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like? A tour guide? <sighs> Have you, you been actually there? been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Pretty well. Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. <laughs> a little bit. Why are you like this? Reflective. No one knows anybody provoking. I should ask you the same thing. Reflective. Look. I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Ryan, you find you try to find the good in any situation, which is honestly a good thing, but in this situation specifically, I don't think it's going to do you much good, buddy. I think it's kind of pointless, honestly. 
There it is. Hacky house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this. Yes. Place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Ow. I've never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. Correct. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? I don't think they're in love. That's a really good question. Laura's already with Max and they're in love. Maybe we just don't. And Ryan likes either Caleb or Caitlin. I mean, they do have chemistry though. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura. Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm it's all for it. It's basically a love story. <laughs> hey, where are you going? You're on a timer. The choices don't matter in the end of the Let's day. Love will across. prevail. <laughs> I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? This is a friend. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. <laughs> Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Yeah, look at that. What big eyes you have, Grandma. <laughs> no shit. That's pretty cool. Terrifying, but cool. In my eyes. Define yellow. Shit. We haven't got much time. Nope. We gotta go. Let's go. Ah, everyone's greatest weakness in this game. Stairs. I'm gonna pick one of those up. These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. Love cured the eyes. Stag, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dingus. Like every every set of stairs is just a crawling pace, man. Like there is such a thing as speed. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The Hag of Hackett's Hag Quarry. Of Hackett's Quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. Mmm. Or neither. You guys know that you guys can walk quickly up the stairs, right? I think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. Nope. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> what an asshole. Jeez. I, I honestly hate people who do that. Um, who like pretend to push you. It's like, no. My eyes yellow, leans in for a kiss. Listen! Just look Stop at it! Place. They already have their love interest, Stag! Laura's already with a boyfriend. If not fiance. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know why they kind of push what it. Really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. <sighs> I, I, it is kind of a little like, huh, the fact that they're pushing their narrative, you know, like their relationship a little bit much. It's interesting. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Yeah, just don't look down. Yeah, yeah, no, just just don't look down. A long way down. You okay there, Butto? Bucko? Butto? He was stuck on the stairs. Do y'all see that? Well, it's a love polygon. First cave out. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Oh, my neck. My neck. My back. So what's your Here we deal go. then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Yes. You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I, I mean, guess so, yeah. Until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she... she has the hots for me. Doing those two. Oh, modesty. Thy name is Ryan. I'm not Good. being smug about it. It's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. No, they're not. So, what about you? Who do you <laughs> like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. Hmm. This is a textbook. Oh no, I fell on you and now we we're married with a mortgage yeah. and three kids play. I'd recognize it anywhere. Or you can just hang out here. Buy me a drink first. <laughs> Someone's been eating their spinach. <laughs> But yeah, it is kind of weird how they're push how this game is pushing them together when she already has a boyfriend, if not a fiance, and he already has two love interests. You know? God damn it, I hate the fixed points. Okay. All right, I got to pay attention. Looks promising. Ah, well, my mouth is. Yeah. My neck, my back, lick my puth and my crack. Lick my puhani and my crack. Careful. Splinters. <laughs> Thanks. I'm fine. Splinters. Hey, splinters are no laughing joke, man. Splinters hurt. Alcohol. No prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were booted. What's a third love interest sense. in the grand scheme of things? On the it's whatever you want it to be. Come on. Time travel later. Think this is it? Uh, beach me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Splinters. He's making a splinter movie. Oh, a splinter move. There's a splinter move. Damn, I'm getting lag spikes whenever it cuts to a new chapter.
Hello? Uh, what the hell happened here? A lot. Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck? Caitlin, this place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, I mean should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. Yes. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. That's the, <laughs> that's the answer. Yes. Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Yeah. Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Keep it in the van. I love that. That's all I could find in the van. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Dylan. You you were spooked. Uh, Dylan, <laughs> you're uh. So she's in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Was well, fucking wild, though. It? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, <sighs> a rotor arm. And I know, we right? Just up the road. So you can fix it. Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're gonna find it. It sounds like a long shot. Ow. Mean, got something better to do. I need you encouraging. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We <sighs> need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. <laughs> After this, I think you guys are going to be what more than just work friends, you know? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, well cute hand and calm a stumpy. The you could be safe there for a while. All right. <laughs> Abby, you're with me. Good luck. You're horrible. Well, well cut hand and call me stumpy. Jesus Christ. This thing like vibrates so fucking violently. It's weird. And and like um I can see through it too. And it's cool because I see the little rotor thing where where it spins to make the vibration. It's really cool. It's really cool being able to see all the circuits and stuff. But I never actually like actively look. So you admit that there is more than friends vibe. No, 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 no. I was saying more than just work friends. Like that? they'll definitely be friends outside huh? of work. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. <sighs> Keep it down. <sighs> Keep it down. Shh. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or 
The Emperor. Fuck, I hate the fixed points so much, man. I love how it glows blue. I love the color blue. It's coming from a bed. Was she shush and went weird POV? Mm. Jacob. Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? He's just probably in shock, man. That's terrifying. Who was she shushing? No. Be shocked. Hey. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Seven, five, three. Seven, five, you, three. Travis? Seven, five, three. You ought to be out with the others. Seven, five, three. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. The boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. No, 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 not my granddaughter, not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, little Kaylee. you goddamn piece of shit, not my little Kaylee, God damn you, what did you do to her? Please let me move around before I go to the controls. Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they want It's him! him. Who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Yeah. Friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. Yeah. You promised. Okay. Have to be Fine. sure. You gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. They took it. They took it. Three. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! One, two, three. Close. Three. Help, Jacob. Okay. 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 I Talk don't to... remember okay. what so, ones it is, though. All I know is you have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut up. Is it one, three, one, five? Okay, there's a console on the wall over there. One through one two. Or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. One through one two. Okay. One three two three. Okay. One one three two three. Three five seven. One one three two three. Oh, 
One. Three. <laughs> we we can't we can't just turn the power off. Focus, dude, focus. Two, three. Hey, dude. Nice. All right, now don't fuck it up. Two, three. If it's three, five, seven, and two, three. Or five. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cool. Awesome. Oh! I've never wanted to try this hard to get everyone to survive. You look awful. Thanks. Help. Where's everyone else? <sighs> um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. But you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't I don't know if there's a way back up. <sighs> we got this. We got this. Jacob appreciates your help. Not my, not God, not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So, you, you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead are putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains? You, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Oh, I just don't. I, I don't understand why you. you, you I want to shoot her so fucking you badly. Care of the problem, but I can't yourself? because I'm trying to get everyone to live. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker! Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire! Ma. Don't ma! Don't ma me! Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please? And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't! Oh my god, I hate- I love Elaine, but I fucking hate her! What to do, you- Piece of shit. Uh oh. Yes. I know I need to run. Gotcha. Yeah. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. 